Hi everyone and welcome back to Your Angelic Karma. It is Friday, 19th of May. We're going to go ahead and wrap this week up. Let's get the announcements done first. The daily news is up. The link is in the description box for this video per usual. Or you can send an email to yourangelickarma at gmail.com for purchase options. The donation readings are cleared away for this week. I am open for donation readings for the weekend. The information is in the description box. Also, I feel that that is... Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and get started looking at the overall energy here. Let's see, show me. The energies. Let's see here. We have milk and honey. Very positive, love seeing this card. This is a very positive card here with milk and honey. It's something that could be coming to you and, and it's quite sticky as I've described it in the past. It will be with you most definitely for a while now, a while and, and a long period to come. We have exchanging gifts. So this is an element of giving and receiving, but it's not just giving, it's exchanging. Exchanging means you don't, you're not just a receiver, you're giving also like that. And it will be valuable gifts like that. So there could be an element of exchanging gifts, exchanging something that is valuable. We have co-create with the cheetah and the owl or the leopard and the owl, but I'm not going to take that. I, I'm not going to take this energy. Because I feel that the owl has learned a valuable lesson and that's sufficient for the owl. Cause to learn a lesson down pat and be ready to walk away from the experience, you would have been on a cyclical pattern of going back and in that kind of insanity of you keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. It now it's just insanity. Okay, the owl knows that. The owl knows that the cheetah has a leopard has always been what it is. And Attempt it to be different than that, but it, it's just not enough. The cheat, the leopard or the cheetah, or whatever it is, will have to make some type of grand gesture. It's like, but the owl isn't really wanting. The owl wanted to co-create with this cheetah, but the owl really doesn't want anything that the cheetah or the leopard has. May still want what it wants, but just doesn't want it from this cheetah or this leopard. It does not want to co-create here. Wants to get that stickiness off of it and has. The milk and honey is not there. There was no exchange in gaps. Only the exchange of the only thing that the leopard got from the cheat, the, the owl got from the cheat of the leopard is that um, wisdom. So that was what the gift that the che cheetah of the leopard gave the owl. And that's the exchange. Now, so that has served its purpose. Now we're going to move on to new life. Okay. Now you've accepted um, lesson. You've accepted new life. You've accepted what is to come next. And that's where your milk and honey is. We have soulmates. This could be for you all romantically. It could be non-romantically. We have happy, happy. Some type of experience that make you very happy, you know, and it's about the exchanging of that. They making you happy, you making them happy, the experience making you happy, you making the experience happy, bringing that type of value, that type of milk and honey, you know, as opposed to trying to co-create with a, a, a owl and a leopard or owl and a cheetah. It's like that's when you're on lesson like that. And you're always having to go to the cheetah. You're always having to go to the leopard. That lets you know that, you know, sometimes the leopard or the cheetah wants the prey to come to it like that. So now you're in soulmate energy here. It can be romantic, non-romantic, new life. Embrace that. See the milk and honey in that. See the value in that. And see the other type of exchange that you're receiving. This is exchanging gas. And we have happy, happy. Now, we have between worlds, so you're coming out of that old energy. Um, this just this reading is just pick it up where we all you where, where, where the energy left off yesterday. You're coming out of that between worlds, that energy, and, and going fully. This time, you're going to go 
fully into this. You experience the cheating in the aisle, the leopard in the aisle scenario enough that now you're ready to go. You know all you need to know. The wisdom has gained. Okay. Now you're ready to go fully here into this, whatever this is. And we have peace. It, we're into peace. And it's going to bring you a lot of peace, mentally and emotionally. And practically, it'll have a shifting effect on your life in general is what I'm getting with this. Let's see. Because when you were trying to co-create with that, that owl cheetah, it would have been affecting your life in other areas that didn't really have anything to do with the owl cheetah. But it lets you know that the vibration was off. So that's a um, heavy lesson. You have blessed. You're going into peace and blessings. Or you're full in alignment now with your peace and, and with your blessings. Because you're not trying to co-create with that which you are not to co-create with. And you've been shown that time and time again and time again and time again and time again. And enough times that now you've gotten a lesson and you've gotten it and you've gotten it and you've gotten it. So stay on this trajectory and your experiences will be happy, your experiences will be peaceful, and your experiences will be blessed. They will encompass everything that your energy represents. And because of how your energy is, you can't co-create with that which does not give back to you like that. And you cannot co-create with that which is out of balance that attempts to give back to you, to keep receiving from you, but only gives because they are not of a good given nature like you. You have to be in that like that okay now you have a leg up now something is about to come in that propels you zip it tell no one it could be whatever it'll be the correct whatever we have treasure island that's going to mean whatever it is is supposed to mean um for you Don't go into your mind and thoughts because it's going to carry you backwards into the wrong place with co-create. It'll carry you backwards. So don't be tempted backwards. Don't be tempted backwards. There's nothing there. You visited that enough to know that there's nothing there like that. There's nothing there. And you're not basing it on other own experiences that you had with other people or other experiences. You're basing it on the experience that you had with this person or the experience that you experienced with this experience, romantically, non and romantically. Understand? So don't be tempted back. Stay here. Stay here. Get enmeshed in that. Whatever you're temp temp tempted backwards, stay focused here. And you gain enough wisdom where you will continue to stay focused here. And where all of your energy is around you, not that it's positive. And, you, and you're in exchanges that match that. Match that. Match that. Match that. Match that. That's where you are. Stay within it. Stay within it, most definitely. We have poise. Exactly. Get ready to... Uh, my neck. Ostrich here. We have poise. So, you're... Stay in this position. Don't go backwards. Stay in this position. Stay there. Now. And something is about to flip. And this flip permanently. Stay there. You just have to stay here. Longer than you stayed before. Don't be tempted backwards. There's nothing back there. Like that. Okay. Only your own energy... And, and you um, may be projecting the positive that you are onto somebody else or onto an experience and expecting to have that positive back. No, no. Stay here. Something is about to flip. Be ready for it like that as opposed to going backwards, trying to co-create in that which environment that isn't conducive for you. It doesn't match you. It doesn't match you. Stay here like that. And it's demonstrated itself is not matching you. A multitude of times. It only can take from you. It can't give to you. No. Mm -mm. You've given to it independently of what it gave to you. That was a lesson came from that. It can't just give to you. It, it can't. Okay, you've learned enough there. Now you're in, you're in the poise energy here. You're in the poise. That experience is stuck in the dimension and the energetic vibration that is supposed to stay stuck in the owl and the leopard or the owl and the cheetah. You're supposed to be here like that. That's not supposed to shift. That was lesson. This, you're here. Poise. Stay in that position. And find comfort there. 
find peace there. Your blessings are there. Like that. Let's see. Is what I'm getting with this. You've also shown yourself as a blessing to others. They've not shown themselves as a blessing for you. Is they only can take your vibration down to where theirs is. You know. In any attempt that they will make to match you in order to keep you. It would be minuscule. You know. It's. So you. The, the, the owl has gained this wisdom. The owl has completed a cycle. Now. We're going to lay this spread here separately. Because that's kind of pretty self-explanatory. And I want you all to stay in that poised energy. You're not accustomed to that. You're not accustomed to receiving. You're accustomed to giving. And you've always demonstrated it. The good thing about your energy, though, is that you treat people as an individual. Because this is based on the person that you've had experience with. Not projecting old experience on them. This is based on their actions. Okay. And this is based on if we're not talking about a person. This is based on the, the experience that is in front of you. Not past experiences. Understand the difference? Okay. That's what we have there. So you're fair. Stand in front of a mirror and say to yourself. I'm worthy of all the good things I dream about. Say that. Because you are. And you've proven yourself to be. You know. You don't need to explain or justify what you know to be true in your heart. This is your life. Your journey. Enjoy every fabulous moment of it. Start explaining to people. Don't explain to people. It takes courage to pursue your dreams. It takes courage to be who you are, to do what feels right. It takes courage to face the fears that have the power to hold you back. Be brave and the world will be yours. Okay. And I'm going to tell you something. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead. If a previous negative experience seems true to you and stands in the way of your dreams, ask yourself, is this really the truth or could I look at it from a different angle? Could I allow my dreams to come true despite my history? You can allow them to come true. And as I stated, you're fair. You don't, you're not basing an experience with a person on an experience with people that don't have the, you're, you're doing it by the person like that. Okay. You're doing it by the experience like that. Not because this happened to me with this person. I'm going to be different with you now and show you and you're going to pay for it. No, it's with, this, with the person in front of you. You're judging and making your decision based on the exchange you're having with death. That's the owl and the cheetah. That's why you concluded this cycle. Even though we're not talking about a personal romance. It's the experience that you, you do it experience to experience, person to person basis. Not past interfering with them now. Okay. So, yeah, you believe your dreams can come true. Because you know that everybody isn't like that person you dealt with, okay? Every experience isn't like the past experience. So, yeah, you believe your dreams can still come true. Yeah, you believe you're worthy of it. You know that you just were co-creating with someone that you does, aren't supposed to co-create with. Or you were co-creating with an experience that you're not supposed to co-create like that. You understand the difference. You have wisdom. That's the perspective you're seeing it from. Because when you see it from a perspective other than that, you will say, well, because I experienced something negative with this person, the next person is negative, so let me let that, make that person pay for what these people did. Uh-uh. You don't see it through that perspective. You see it through it was this person or it was this experience. Understand? That's your perspective. That's why you, do, that's why you believe that your dreams can come true, whatever the dreams are. And I'm speaking in romantic and non-romantic terms. Even though it doesn't matter, it's, it's the same thing. Romantic and non-romantic is the same mode of operating. So that's what you have here. Now let's move on and we're going to go into the practical. And what I mean by practical per user is anything that you're experiencing. It is practical because you're experiencing and involved in it. Let's see, show me.
your perspective is shifted because you're you not to deal with who's in front of you, okay, and or what's in front of you. You know that's why you believe that yeah your dreams could come true, yeah. Two of Cups union, the feelings of mutual both standing up equal exchange. That's what you have. Some of you could be receiving something. Some of you are going to receive something and you're going to be quiet about it. Other of you, you're receiving something. This is some type of exchange with the Two of Cups. Valuable exchange. It could be an emotional exchange. It could be whatever. Both people equally standing, bringing their cups. Very blessed. This is exchanging gifts. Both being a gift to one another. And knowing what that gift is. I don't know what the gift is. Somebody. What, what, what you need and have. What you need and want. Somebody else has. They're giving it to you. What they want and need. You have and you're giving it to them. Okay. Balance. Exchanging gas. And it, the foundation of the exchange. Is coming from an emotional space. Knight of Pentacles. And then you two are going into that energy of building. The star. Portal, North Node, Destiny. Okay. Abundance. Very positive. Um, some type of exalted exchange. Exalted soul contracts. Exalted interaction. As the star, some of you, the star could represent you. Something is coming to you. It could be communication, message, or something. This is your energy, your vibration. Beneath the skin and bones. Like that. We had a ten of cups. Very positive. Happiness. The nine of pentacles. One of my favorite cards in the traditional tarot deck is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is representing your second house. It's representing what is of value alongside the Two of Cups. That makes it very potent. That's why the star is here. Um, it makes it very valuable. This is 3D and 9D with the Nine of Pentacles. How you're seeing spiritually, your life being a representation of that earth in the third dimension state of consciousness. Value, given, value, receive, equally, two of cups, star, abundance, the wishing well, and you having access to it, you know, you getting from it, and you point it out here, you getting from it, you point out balance, exalted experiences, exalted exchanges, happiness, fulfillment, contentment, this is great healing with the star, Somebody can have great healing abilities, capabilities with the star. The ability to grant wishes, fulfillment. It could be anything. People could have spiritual top-ups. I don't know. This is where they're vibrating in their high vibration. It's all exalted. It changes. Nine of Pentacles. Spiritual bank. And earthly bank with the Nine of Pentacles. And if it's not in unison and matching, something has been and you've been giving, you're, you've been in lessons and you're out of that now. We, I saw the Empress. And I saw it again at the bottom of the deck, but I'm just not taking the Empress. If I see it again, I'm peeping at the bottom. For some reason, I like peeping at the bottom of the deck. If I see it, I'm going to stop peeping. We have the sun, the most positive card you can get. Prosperity, abundance, enlightenment, clarity, happiness, joy, contentment, expansion. Two major arcana cards, two powerful major arcanas together. The sun grows and touches and expands everything that it touches, but in the right quantity like that. This is good health. This is prosperity. This is abundance. This is happiness. This is contentment. This is a raised vibration. This is elevation. And it's with the star. And it's regarding how all of your, based on who you are, nine of pentacles, how you're seen in the spirit realm, and your earthly life being a representation of that. 
it is regarding all your exchanges, exalted exchanges, romantically, non-romantically, like that. That's what you have here. That are to bring you happiness and fulfillment. You're putting yourself in the equation as you're bringing happiness and fulfillment to others. Equal, equality. And it's all coming from a healthy emotional space. That's why you're putting yourself in the equation. It's based on the value that you are and the value that you can give and the value that you are to receive. Star, North Node Destiny. That's what your new path will consist of. Sign. Now, I smell a tobacco. Somebody smoking tobacco? I don't know who it is. It has to be somebody outside. Is it tobacco it's in, a, in a pipe, a tobacco pipe? And it smells so good. It's the kind that I like. So now let's move on to romance. Let's move on to romance. Those of you wanting um, spiritual court, man's court, money blockage removed. It will be, I'm doing it every Thursday, so go ahead and get it in. We had a lot of them that we did last night. So, let's go ahead and... We meaning I. Show me the love and romance here. We had a four of wands. That's 11-11. The four of wands are happily ever after card or happy... We had an ace of swords that's clarity, that's true, that's victory. Somebody may have, somebody feel that, feels that they have a relationship in the bag. They have their happiness secured. Somebody can feel that they have their happily ever after secured. It could be a masculine energy. The ace of swords is a very strong masculine energy here. It's a yes answer. It's like securing it with the ace of swords, victory with the ace of swords, direct communication with the ace of swords, clearing out everything else that, is around that four of wands, 11 and 11, happily ever after that um, makes them feel that it's not secure. That's what you have here. We have judgment, second chances, resurrection. The hermit, somebody could be missing you. The six of wands, this is victory. You've been very attractive, attracting other people, or, or this is about attention. You have the page of cups. Somebody could be upset about something, but there's not anything that they can say about it. That's why they're bottling up the paper. They may not want you to know what their feelings are, or they don't have any room to speak. They could feel that you're with somebody else and know that you're with somebody else, or know that you should be with somebody else. But they can want to object, but they, they can't do it, because then you would know how they feel. Or, or they can't do it, because then they'll have to take responsibility for their actions and why they don't have you anymore. Or they can't do it because they missed the opportunity and they messed up the chances that they had. Or they can't do it because when they had you all to themselves, they messed it up. And now you're with somebody else. That's the truth. The a is the truth of the matter. It could be a multitude of reasons. Or they can't do it because... Maybe when they had you, they took it for granted or took you for granted and thought maybe they didn't have to do anything because they feel that they already had it secured. And then they realized that they did it. This is the king of wands. Some of you, this could be a Sagittarius or Aries, some moon rising that this is somebody that loves you or it's just a man. This is the masculine, I stated strong masculine principle. Here, be careful because somebody's going to try to come into your energy. They're very covert. This person is very covert. That's why they're not speaking their mind. They don't speak. They're covert. They don't say. They don't do. They could sneak into your energy. Maybe to try to draw you backwards to them. That could be that owl and cheetah situation. This is the of cups. Your past. Somebody's going to try to draw you back draw, draw you back to them. And then you'll be in the eight of swords stuck. And nothing will happen. Offering you the forbidden fruit. Causing confusion and keeping you in a state of confusion is what it is here. So some of you, 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 um, you're done with the situation and you're able now, based on what the situation was every time you experienced it, to stay away from it. When you were in the situation, you may have been healing from whatever happened little by little. And now you've healed enough where you can stay away from it and release it completely like that. 
but I feel that the person that you would have been in this situation with may have thought that they the situation was secure because you kept coming back to them no matter how they treated you. That's the eight of swords. You kept come, coming back to your own prison. And they thought that they, that mean it was secure, so they really didn't have to do anything then. And no matter how they treated you, they thought you were going to be there. And they kept you under a state of confusion. And that may have been powerful for them. They didn't know that you were healing. And now you've gone far enough away from it where you know what it is. And you don't have to have it. You don't have to have to have, to have a refresher course like that. That's what you have here. So let's see. Now we're going to move on to the angel message. I feel that the situation gave you a lot of time alone in the confusion to think, you know, and it's like, so every time you went back to it, it gave you more time to think, think, think. Perfect timing. Something is coming through in, through in perfect timing. You have to listen to your intuition, exactly. Listen to your intuition and perfect timing. A year from now, not the right time. Ask your angels with listen to your intuition. No need to worry with perfect timing. Communicate clearly. Now, something is gonna and reconsider. You won't be reconsidering anything. You won't be compromising. You're done with an experience. You've already made your decision and it's final. Because you're ready to move forward. It's like something that was put out and going to be put out and going to be put out. Somebody could tell you in three months from now. Then they're going to say in six months from now. Then they're going to say a year from now. Like that. Because they're waiting for a perfect timing. And there is no perfect timing because you're not supposed to be with them. Or the experience isn't supposed to come into fruition. You won't be compromising. Because compromising means you will be accepting the lower end of the spectrum. Like that. And you'll be stuck. No matter what we're speaking of. You won't be reconsidering anything. Because you've done that enough. You're not worried about it anymore. Because you're moving forward. And that's you communicating clearly. You've taken their ability to communicate out of their hands. Because you ask your angels. And you're following your intuition. Like that. Now. And because you're ready. And, and yes. The, answer, the angels like yes. Finally. Okay. Okay everyone. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.